What's up YouTube? I'm Sketchy Brett, YouTube sketchiest artist and today I'm going to teach you how to do urban sketching really simply. So for that we're going to start off with this very complicated reference image. The reason I've chosen such a complicated reference image is because I want to show you that you don't need a simple reference to do simple urban sketching. So let's jump straight into it. So the trick with this is to stick to the basic shapes. So as we can see we've got a big rectangle, we've got two smaller rectangles on the side. So so far we've done five lines but what we've got is the basic shape of this building. So we want to keep doing that. So we've seen on the sides of each is another rectangle where these sort of columns come up from and the same is true on the sides. Right, now all we have to do is add in some of the little details. We've got triangle up there, we've got a triangle down here, smaller ones on either side and two more on top of here. Right, so you can see just with very basic shapes we're already starting to get the sort of basic layout of this. So these extend up, so we bring those up and then on top of those we add these little spires which are nothing more than triangles. Right, now we want to put the arch in and it comes down. The doorway and the same on the edges. Nothing complicated yet, but you can see how as we start to add some of these little details, we get a buildup of all these elements that starts to tell our story. Okay, so we keep doing that. So we see here, there's something going on. We don't have to trace exactly what it is. We just know that there is something in terms of detail on these that is thicker and more dense than everything else. So we add that. We see that there's little tops to them. And we see that over here there's another top there. Then we just work our way through. We see that there's a couple of these And you can see I'm mirroring it because it's making it easier for me. Now we've got another one. Now we make our balustrade that runs the full width. And these lines, I like to always make them a little bit squiff add some interest and it makes it a little bit less static. Now we can do a third line inside of these roof arches or triangles, the eaves and we're building up tone as we're doing that using the lines. Now inside here there's a little object so we just do that and then it becomes important now to say well what are we going to leave out so we've got this square over here we don't need all the details so we do the border there was a circle thing inside it but we see that there was a 
texture inside of this. So we can do another line and then add the texture just with very simple lines. And then here we can see that there is some sort of design. So now you want to be light on your pen and you want to just put in some kind of design in all of these. And you're not trying to copy the design, you're trying to give the impression of the design. And there was one in here as well. Now, we now just look for any way that we can add a few more textures and a few more little elements to kind of fill up where there's lots of gaps. So we see there's this line running down the middle of all of these. So we put that in. Here we can use thicker lines if we want to give them a little bit more depth. And then there was actually little spires off of these in addition to the ones that we drew earlier. So we can add those in now. And you see how I'm working my way through one element at a time. We add these little tops on and then some details in the doors. And there is a very complicated building sketched in its most simplistic form. If you get the hang of this, you can start to add extra details if you want, but actually this is where it really gets quite fun. So if we wanna add paint and color to this, it's very easy and done very much in the same way. So we wanna keep our colors nice and simple too. And the best way to do that is make sure we don't have too many of them. So I've got Titan Buff, I've got magenta, however you say that, and turquoise. So it's building uh, windows and something to add to some of these details that we saw, just to bring them alive a little bit. One old rubbish round brush, size 16, and a bit of water. And that's all we're gonna need. So we'll start with the building. Here, we don't wanna overthink it. We wanna lay down our color, which is pretty much the same, but we also wanna leave some spots that don't have any color at all. White is our extra color here. So work it on one side and not the other. So we're working on this side and we're leaving this side. That way we can get a bit of depth. So we'll lay that on. And again, I'm not too worried about staying in the lines or anything like that. That's where a lot of you are gonna get unstuck. You're gonna want it to be perfect. As you can see, it's not remotely perfect, but that's where the, the fun of all this lies. So now we're gonna take a little bit of the blue straight away, and we're just going to do very loose little swatches of blue. At the same time, we can see there's some blue in some of these. So we add that in as well. Just little bits. Into the magenta. We roll that through so that we get a variance of color.
right and there is our building done three colors simple lines but certainly identifiable as the building we set out to sketch okay so there we go a complicated building done super simple and it really has turned out great i really love it and i really hope that all of you give it a go once you've given it a go these two videos are gonna be a great next step for you. And if you want even more great resources, be sure to look at my Patreon. There's a link in the description below. And until next week, keep it sketchy. I have to wait for it to dry. Oh, right.